What's good everyone and one of the most important things when it comes to being productive or in life in general is being organized, which you can easily accomplish by using multiple desktops on your Mac and of course using the gestures on your touchpad, but what about the table Macs? Let's begin. So just like I said in this video I want to talk about the hotkeys and the importance of this very cool feature and this is a feature that I really think that enables you to be a little bit more productive and a little bit more organized which really at the end makes you use your Mac in a more productive way and that way you just get more stuff done. So what exactly is it? Okay, so like I said, if you want to be organized or one of the most basic things you can do is open up a window and have multiple of them on your desktop, on your home screen, on your Mac, whatever Mac you are using. But once you're using more apps, it just gets cluttered and you just, it, it's a huge mess of open icons which are stacked up on top of each other, so it's really a huge mess. So one thing you can do is to press the command and a tab key to switch between the open apps, which works and everything, but for me it's not that intuitive since you can only see the icons of those apps and you don't see the open window and you don't see what exactly is going on within them. So you could technically use only one desktop and have all of the icons just there and use this method to switch between them. Which is good, but there is a better way of doing that. Instead, I would recommend you using uh, multiple desktops, like I said. So, on your home screen, on your MacBook, you swipe up using your three fingers to activate it. And on the upper left corner, you can see we have the plus icon to create a new home screen. So, you can easily move icons between the actual home screens, it works and everything works really well. It's one of the greatest features. And now if you want to see all of the open windows within that desktop, you also have to swipe using your three fingers or based on the way how you have it set up, you can also have it chosen for four fingers. So three fingers or four fingers swipe up on the trackpad to get to this section of the desktops. And if you swipe down, you will see all of the finer windows or depending on which app you're doing this, if I would do it on a Google Chrome window, if I would swipe down, it would show me all of the open Google Chrome windows. So this is very good, but you may have noticed that for everything that I did, I was using gestures on the trackpad. And if you don't have that available, if you have an iMac without the trackpad, if you have Mac Mini, if you have Mac Pro, or any Mac computer which doesn't support it, how do you get it? How do you get organized and how do you not lose all of the things on all of your windows in a huge giant mess of open icons? So right now we are getting to the core of this video which explains what the hotkeys actually are. So hotkeys are a feature which is here as a substitute or to replace the gestures on the trackpad. So it also allows you to get to the multiple desktop section here and to this section right there which opens up all of the windows but not using the gestures and not using the trackpad at all so you have to open up system preferences to set up this feature and on this main section you're gonna go to this mission control so this is exactly what it means and here you can see hot corners so you click on this and this will show up with this menu. So you can choose multiple things for each corner of the screen. Let me show you what you can choose. So you can choose from Mission Control, Application Windows, Desktop, Dashboard, Notification Center. There are plenty of things that you can pick from. So I would simply recommend you getting these, or this is at least how I use it on my table computer. Okay, so what I would recommend you getting or setting up in this section in the hot corners, on the left side, like in the upper left corner, I would recommend you getting the mission control. In the upper right corner, I'm using the application window. In the lower right corner, I have the dash, the desktop actually. And in the lower left, I you can do whatever you want. I keep it free on my table Mac. But one thing that I consider to be pretty much kind of useful actually is to make the uh, make the computer to go sleep. So just like that, you hit OK, and now let me zoom it out so you can see how it works. Right now, without using the gestures, whether it is the three finger swipe up or swipe down, if I want to get the swipe down feature, this is what happens if I move my cursor to the right corner of the screen. So it opens up the very same thing if I would simply use the, th the gesture to swipe down, just like that. 
so it just replaces those features. If I would get to the open windows and to the desktop section, I would go to the left corner, just like that. And uh, if I go right down, it means that I just go to the desktop, just like that. And it just opens up the desktop. If I do it again, all of the windows come back to their original place. Oh, by the way, and if you are new here on this channel, I want to say that if you don't want to miss some future content and videos I think you would be interested in, consider clicking the subscribe button. It's free and it just makes sure that you are always updated and know what's going on. Now, why exactly to the lower right corner I like to keep the desktop? Because for many people that have used Windows in the past, if you click just right there on your Windows, it just shows you the, um, the home screen. So yeah, it just shows you the desktop. So I think that it's kind of intuitive to have it right there. So even people who switch from one operating system to another, or if you are using Bootcamp and you use Windows and Mac at the very same time, it's it's kind of thing that it just doesn't mess up with your brain and it just makes you feel like you already know this computer well. And, and if you swipe to the lower left corner, it just makes you asleep. It's, it's really cool and I don't know, this could also be considered as a prank because people may have no idea. If you would set it up for someone as a prank, you could put it theoretically in every corner and it would be really, it would be a really annoying thing. So it's kind of a good prank if you put it like this and you hit OK and whatever the person does, it just always goes to sleep. So it's really funny. So yeah, it's, it's just kind of bad thing. But because on the Mac, on I mean on the MacBook, I can use the gestures which are really good and really work. And by the way, this is one of the best things about the MacBooks. I mean, the gestures, because they really work. I like to keep it as nothing, so nothing happens if I swipe to the two individual corners. And the reason is simple, because sometimes if you would like to go, for example, the About section or to this controls at the top in the corner, or if, or if you would like to go, for example, to the battery or anything else, it would just trigger the hot corner action. So I don't really think that it is necessary to have it on my MacBook. And on the PC, I would have to swipe two times because, yeah, you have to get used to it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you once again. So. Let me put it to the uh, mission control, hit OK. Right now, if I would go to the uh, to the Apple logo, to the About section, for example, you know, it wouldn't let me do so. So I would do it once again, or I would be would have to be really slow and click it that way. So yeah, this is how it works, but I think that this is something that you, you're gonna get used to very easily. Okay, and um, so right now you know how you can be organized, and it works really well. Like I said, if you are in this section, you can move icons from one screen or from one desktop to the other just using this you can simply put it wherever you want it just works really well one thing that i just don't like about it or i think that it could be a little bit better is if you could for example rename the desktops what if i want to have it for example this one desktop as fun this one i want to have for learning this one for whatever else but it's just not possible. Technically, you could rename it, but it's just too much work for doing some basic task. So it's not something that I would recommend you looking up or trying to do. It just will, it just will waste your time. And it's not really anything intuitive or anything that you would enjoy using. So I guess that this is pretty much it. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I have explained a little bit how hot corners work and how you can use them and be more productive with them. So thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed, hit the like button for more videos in the future and hit the subscribe for again more videos and that will just make sure that you don't miss any, any important information in the future. Have a nice day and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.